Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Well, after uh, Ida hit Louisiana hard on Sunday and even yesterday, it is now impacting us here locally, starting off with a few sprinkles, but it will increase in intensity as these outer bands continue to move through the upstate and the mountains later on today. So right now we have tropical depression. Ida, as the winds are at 30 miles per hour, moving northeast at 12 miles per hour. Clouds starting to build on in. Already seeing a few isolated showers, but you can see off towards our west impacting Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, all of this heavy rain that is going to be coming into our area later on today. So we will start to see some scattered rain by the afternoon and we'll be picking up an intensity for the evening hours. So we have a severe weather threat for today. So it's a marginal risk. It's a category one out of five. So it's the lower end scale, but it's still elevated in our area. What does this mean for us? Brief tornadoes cannot be ruled out whenever we're talking about a tropical system. We definitely have to be aware that tornadoes could spin up in one of those cells in those outer bands. We are unfortunately too familiar with that from Fred, but the good news is we shouldn't have that significant of a weather event comparing to Fred to this system. Now we'll also have to watch out for some flooding. Some heavy rainfall will pile up across the mountains already. Some hard hit areas like Buncombe County, even into Haywood County. Those areas could be picking up a few more inches of rain from the system and even across the northern tier of the upstate, including Raven County. So two to four inches will be expected near the Franklin area. You can see right here the red bullseye elsewhere about one to two, generally one to three inches. But again, it's going to be quite a bit of rain and you added some of these strong winds that we will have embedded in these thunderstorms down trees power lines that will all be a possibility for today. So make sure you secure anything outdoors now. Future cast showing us cloudy skies pretty much throughout the entire day. We don't want to see any sunshine just because we do have a higher risk for severe storms. That scattered rain will arrive by the afternoon, but it's going to be more likely and more heavy and stormy by the evening commute home. As you can see, Raven County all the way down into northeast Georgia, then moving through the upstate as this continues to track up towards the north and east. Overnight tonight, you need to stay weather aware because Make sure to download our Fox Carolina News app. Have multiple ways to get any alerts because you're going to be sleeping probably at this point. And if an alert does go off in your area and you have to seek shelter, it will wake you up. That's going to all linger into tomorrow morning's commute, 8 a.m. here. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we will have some of those lingering showers and storms, but it's not going to be an all-day rain event. And then we're going to be looking much better for Thursday afternoon and onward. So the local impacts with Ida showers and thunderstorms today and tomorrow. It's a low severe threat, but still some tornadoes and strong gusty winds will be possibility and we'll have to watch out for some of that flash flooding as well. The upstate today 86 degrees and we're looking at 78 for the mountains, so it is going to be much cooler of the day. Temperatures, though, will be warming, especially as we head into the weekend and for Labor Day itself on Monday. Temperatures will be back into the upper 80s, lower 90s, and we'll hold on to the 80s for those days over the weekend and the start of next week in the mountains.